5 Powerful DaVinci Resolve Tricks to Instantly Upgrade Your Editing Trick number 1, Video Inside Text First, open DaVinci Resolve. In the media pool, we already have our video that we'll be filling inside the text. Now, go to the effects panel right next to the media pool. Open the toolbox, then go to titles. Here we have two main options, basic text and text plus. You can use either one, but I'll choose text plus since most people prefer using it these days. Next, select the text layer and type in your desired text. For this example, I'll type visual, then choose a font. I want a bold look, so I'll select impact. Adjust the size as needed. We also have many color options, but we'll keep the text white because we're going to merge the video inside it. Using the V anchor, you can move the text left, right, or center. Now, go back to the media pool and drag your video onto the timeline above the text layer. Select the video layer, then go to composite mode. Scroll down and choose foreground. Next, select the text layer. On the right side settings panel, scroll down to composite mode again and select alpha. And there you go. Now the video is perfectly merged inside the text. Looks really cool, right? You can also adjust the position of both the video and text layers to set them exactly the way you want. Our video inside text effect is ready. Trick number two, freeze frame. Here's our video, and in this trick we'll create a freeze frame effect. First, let's remove the borders that appear at the top and bottom by simply zooming the video in a little. That's done. Now, we need to pick the exact moment where we want the video to freeze. For example, I'll stop my playhead here. I think this is the perfect spot. Right, click on the video and select change clip speed. As soon as you click it, you'll see the option for freeze frame on the left side. Check that box and then hit change. Now if you play the video you'll see that the frame at our playhead has frozen. You can also increase or decrease the length of this freeze frame, depending on your needs. But I want to make this look a bit more professional and dynamic. Instead of using this method, let's try another way. First, delete the freeze frame we just created and expand the video back to normal. Now, right click on the video and select Retime Controls, you can also press Ctrl plus R. You'll notice a lot of speed keyframes appear on the clip. This tool is also commonly used for speed ramping. Here, click the small arrow below the clip and choose freeze frame. Now at the point where our playhead was, the frame is frozen. You'll see small red markers on the clip. That section is the frozen part. You can easily extend or shorten this freeze by dragging the ends. Let's play it back. Now it feels perfect. I also want to add another freeze frame in the same clip. To do that, just move the playhead to another point where the character looks good. I'll place it here then again click on freeze frame. And now we have a second freeze frame. I'll keep its length the same as the first one for consistency. Now watch, our video plays then freezes, continues then freezes again and continues. This technique is very commonly used for character introductions in films and videos, and it looks awesome. Trick number 3, Glitch Effect. First, open titles and select text plus. Drag it onto the timeline. Now, go to the text controls and change the name. For this example, I'll type, glitch effect, but you can write anything that fits your video. Adjust the font and set the size as you like. Next, we need to convert this text layer into a compound clip. To do that, right-click on the text layer and select new compound clip. Now, go back to the effects panel. Inside fusion effects, scroll down until you find digital glitch. Drag and drop it onto the text layer. Let's play it back. You can see that the glitch effect has been applied to our text. On the right side inspector window, under controls, you can adjust settings like width and height to customize the look. Finally, from the media pool, select any video and drag it onto the timeline. Place your text layer above this video. And now you can see our glitch text with video background is ready. Trick number four, neon effect. First, go to the fusion panel. Here we already have two nodes, media in and media out. Now let's add some text. To do this, click on the text icon and drag it into the node area. Select the text node. If you want to preview it on the left viewer, click the small circle on the left side of the text node. Now you can see the text window appear on the left viewer. Go to the inspector panel and under the text menu, type your text. For this example, I'll type my channel name Visual Nova. Next, choose a font and set the size. Great. Now change the color of the text. We have lots of options, but for now we'll go with black. Click OK. Next, connect the text node to the media and node. Just drag from the corner of the text node to the media node, and you'll see that a merge node is automatically created. 
Now let's create the neon text. To do this we need to duplicate the text node. Right click on the text node, select copy then right click again and select paste. You'll see a second text node is created. Connect this one to the merge one node. Go back to the inspector and change its color, for example, red, blue or pink. I'll choose a slightly pinky color. Click OK. Next we need to add a glow. Select the text node, press Ctrl plus space, search for glow and add it. Now you'll see a glow one node connected below the text. We don't need to change its default settings. But to enhance the effect, let's add more glows. Press Ctrl plus space again, search for glow and add it. Now we have glow two node. Increase its size a little to spread the glow. Finally, let's add a third glow node in the same way. This time increase the size up to around 200. That looks cool. Now select the Merge 2 node, and in its settings you'll find the Blend option. We can animate this with keyframes. Here's how. Move your playhead to the very start of the timeline. Set the Blend value to 0 and hit the keyframe button. Now move the playhead forward 2 or 3 frames and set the Blend to full. Continue animating like this until the end of the clip. I'll do this quickly and fast forward. Now let's return to the edit timeline and play it back. And there it is, our neon text effect is ready. Looks amazing. Trick number 5. Cinematic typing effect. Here we have our video on the timeline, and in this trick we'll create a cinematic typing text effect. First, go to Effects, Open Titles and select Text. Drag and drop it above your video on the timeline. Stretch the text layer so it covers the entire length of your video. Now, go to the text menu and type your text. For this example, I'll write London Night, but you can use any location or caption you like. Next, change the font to match the cinematic look you want and adjust the size. Then, in the settings panel, reposition the text. For example, I'll place it in the bottom left corner of the screen. Now, let's add the typing effect. Go back to the title controls and scroll down until you find the right on bar. If you move this slider, the text will appear as if it's being typed. Set the write on value completely to zero, then place the playhead at the very start of the timeline and add a keyframe. Now move the playhead forward a little, and increase the write on value to 100%. And that's it. When you play it back, the text animates onto the screen with a smooth typing effect. Perfect for cinematic titles and location captions. These were 5 awesome DaVinci Resolve tricks you can start using in your projects today. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to Visual Nova for more editing tips, and let me know in the comments which trick was your favorite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.